Did Sherry Barnett at the end of the last episode really turn into our main antagonist of this show? Welcome back to another episode of The Eminence in Shadow. Okay, so we got the resolution of this of this arc where they invaded us, and it was indeed Sherry's dad. Very obvious. I'm not a genius for thinking that. But <laughs> the most funniest part, and I understand they're playing into how like the the trope and the cliches of how like Sherry, all she had to do was turn around her and her the, the murderer of her dad, her mom was right there, but it didn't matter. Also, uh, you know how Shadow has no mask and everybody can't really know who he is. That's all. Just, they're just playing into it, right? I'm not crazy, right? That's the whole point of this show, right? This edgy, cringe show that just goes over, like, just goes beyond to embrace that trope so that moments like this, they're intentionally doing it so that I don't have to get tilted by thinking, what the fuck is nobody, you know, acknowledging who Shadow is? It's fine, it's fine. So we're going into a new arc now, but before we do that, Sherry Barnett, was it really okay? For us to not tell her anything because that's what Sid said and for a moment I agree when Sid said it's better if she doesn't know the truth because if she really did know the truth then it would be even more mental damage like holy shit the person that killed my mom was you know my adoptive father who was raising me this entire time but if she doesn't know now she walks down this path of revenge she's looking like Sasuke man and Oh, I really liked her like she was one of the like the more normal girls but she was so sweet and charming and the way that she ate the chocolates, goddamn. But now, it's almost as if Shadow just kind of made Sherry turn into a villain. Like, dude, all you had to do was explain, but... I guess this is good storytelling that's gonna set up for something really epic. Or it's not that serious and she's not gonna become a big antagonist. Maybe there'll be a much more peaceful and faster resolution. I don't know. Let's watch today's episode. Or are we going back home? Sister, we hardly get anything of Claire, though. Like, that's the last time we're gonna see her for a couple episodes, probably. Wait, he was hiding from her. <laughs> Bye. They're all so cute. We don't get enough, like... Is that one dragging a... Giant... Nut and bolt... Tool thing? The fuck? They're all cool. They all got unique designs. Ayo! The lighting, so convenient. The slime... The slime outfits, man! It's so cute! <laughs> Hey, yo! I'm watching respectfully. But unfortunately, I don't know many of their names. I only know Alpha, Gamma, and Beta, I think. Better change your fate. Did he do this thing? Wait, why is he wearing that, like, cleaning outfit? Does, he, does she want... Big tits? That's the whole point? <laughs> okay, she's gonna overcome her genetics and get bigger tits? That's the whole point of the slime, right? What is, what is this description? He never said that! He did say that part, though. He's, I mean, he kind of said, A man clad in the purest of black. <laughs> Probably a beta writing her fucking fanfic, dude. <laughs> so epic. <laughs> so epic. Was she there? No, it was Alexia, but that's her in her fantasy. That's her fantasy, yo. I will what? No, we can hype it up even more. Go beyond. We can be even more dramatic. It makes it even more epic. But goddamn, the way that Zeno was describing. <laughs> it just sounds like a fucking yaoi BL, dude. Also, that girl got knocked out. Everybody is so unique and has their own, like, distinct quirks. But I don't know much. <laughs> Beta Epsilon. Okay. Okay. And then there's other girls that are not like... Because there's seven important ones, right? Jesus. Boing. 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 What? Don't hide the ass! Move! Come on. 
What, what a climbing dude, I, that's, it's blocking the view, man. Girl, get out of there! I should pay attention to the dialogue, actually. Yeah, so your boobs are far larger than my meager bust. Is hers bigger? Yours is pretty big, too. But I'm not sure if hers is real, because her whole thing was so much. Just tits and ass everywhere. It's new, right? Beta, Epsilon, Nu, Alpha, Gamma. That's pretty much all I know so far. Who is that girl? She got knocked the fuck out. The Sacred Land is a special guest for the Goddess's Trial. What? Goddess Trial? Sacred Land? Special guest? Archbishop? So much plot! Dark rumors? Corruption? Missing orphans? Huh? Dude, they're just fucking bombarding with the plot right now. Articles of clothing. I wonder if she's still trying to get Sid on her side. Because she did get rejected, but she was looking pretty jealous against, you know. It's there, there, no, no, this is for Sid. This is for Sid. Because we saw that jealousy when, you know, Sherry was talking about Sid like that. Black. Black is the way to go, though. Pink is nice. Red and black. God damn, I know it's just mannequins, but that angle that just fucking just going through. <laughs> They're called thong. <laughs> the thongs? Because the concept of thongs doesn't exist here yet? Or, I don't know, it's just like mind-blowing clothing? The men folk. Thongs! Thongs! We must buy all the thongs! <laughs> but until you can do it! I, I believe- oh, Hey yo! It's a mannequin. The black. The black or the pink? Black, pink, and red are the nice colors. Blue, it's like... Careful, cast the mannequin. Oh, which one do you like? Between these two, I like the one on the right, because it's more like... Detailed. Got little strings on the side. Dude, this is a fan service episode, man. Holy shit. Uh, I, need to, I need to watch and read the dialogue. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. There's just so much ass and tits everywhere. Plot. Plot. Sacred land. Special guests. Kidnapped orphans. Archbishop. Corruption. Uh, that, that, that's it, right? That's it so far, right? You're what? You're what? Say it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey. Hey, yo. This ain't Alabama. We're getting some incest vibes. Obviously not, but when you fucking wall bang like that, and you get the blush marks like that, you know? Sid. Sid. This is for Sid. <laughs> Allow me a thong, please. To win him. Who? Sid. I still desire to wear a thong, but I will yield. Please, sister, allow me a thong! Show me your resolve for the thongs! The queen so <laughs> Get her a pair, too. Okay. Oriana. My sweet Sid. My love, Sid. And we called her. My beautiful swordsman, remember? To Oriana. Probably looking for Sid right now. <laughs> oh, Skeleton Poe! Our boys! I'm dead. No, he survived. So I was because like it really looked like Sid died in front of her, but like this, this this is a good way to like bring him back to her thinking that he's alive. This is a very background character of you, Sid. I think your plans backfire. My heart? Is she on the same carriage? He looks so disappointed. He's like, fuck, what have I gotten myself into? This is bringing too much attention. Oh, Oriana's great, though. I can't believe... I can't believe we background character ourselves into Oriana. All we had to do was... Ooh. Jesus. Usually, you'll see like whales and like fairies, but you get to see like a leviathan like that. That's a view. No, you haven't. Well, actually she has, but she doesn't know. She has seen the real him. 
in shadow form, but she has no idea. Blessing our union. We're getting married? The fuck? Uh, religion in this world. She's so hard to get to get <laughs> She let him go. She's still holding his hand like this. <laughs> Divine teachings, new religion, the archbishop, but corruption. Three heroes. Alright, Oriana, I'm down, but I don't think Sid is. I don't think Sid's interested at all. Look at that look in his eye. Oh, more Oriana. Oh, nighttime. She walking with the pillow, but he's gone. Where? Oh, he's hiding above. Wait, is he sleeping? Like that? We saw in the beginning how he was hiding from Claire, but this time he's sleeping? That's a pretty cool feat. Kind of scary. Hero Oliver, Demon Diablos, Diablos Cult. Three. God damn it, there's so much plot in this episode. Sanctuary, sealed away the left arm of Diablos, Archbishop, Goddess's Trial, Corruption, Kidnapped, Orphans, Thongs, G-Strings, those two are not part of the plot, but I'm all in. That looks like Beta. I'm a dragon. Romeo and Juliet. Wait. What's One Piece? These are all references to uh, action. That's this show. <laughs> that's what I thought was on the title. That's why I was like, Kagena Jitsuru Ya Fuck. I was called Eminence in Shadow. Yeah, they're all references. Yeah. Wow. She got the side hustle going on? Wow. My lord. Hey, hey, careful now. Oh, you can see Epsilon outside, jealous. So Beta and Epsilon are kind of rivals. Oh. Blood. Alpha. Our main girl of the seven. Great hero Oliver. Actually, is corrupt. And history is wrong. Archbishop Drake is also probably corrupt. So we can't trust the hero or the archbishop. Oh my god, she just fucking impaled that guy. You did- I oh know she's not talking to this guy right now, but... Or maybe she did. Oh wait, what, 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 what? Wait. That was Archbishop Drake! Oh shit! But it sounds like she didn't actually kill him. Him because she was questioning. Never mind, it's shadow. It's a shadow. You got a little rice on your side. Bro, on the side. It's not rice, it's like ice cream. Mm, very shadow like. Yes, very epic, very cringe. Something is running. Really fast. Mm -hmm. What's going on, man? Who is this? This is. Some person in a hood. Hmm? <laughs> Sid versus? <laughs> Ooh. Wait! Was that what the ice cream- I didn't see it. Wait, did Sid just deflect the sword with the ice cream? You know, the end of the... I don't even know what to call it. It's like a little wooden flimsy thing. Episode. Oh no! It's boinging, but we can't see because it it's too dark! No, I can definitely see it boinging! Dude, it's just fucking just going like this! Look at the shit! Focus on the plot. Focus on the plot, but I'm just too focused on something else. Oh my god! Every time she talks, it's just. Look at it, just dang! I know she's trying to make an effort, right? To do it. Oh my god. Yeah, she's very proud in her tits, man. The amount that she piled on to herself. <laughs> I mean, that's what... He basically told her to do it, kind of. He said that if you can control the slime in its form, that means that you've truly like been reborn or awakened. And that's another episode of The Eminence of Shadow, but holy shit. It's hard to... It's an exposition. 
episode, meaning it's just a lot of plot drop. And that was how it was kind of handled before, too, in terms of like how the plot has dropped just through a bunch of fan service. And I'm trying to focus on the dialogue, but goddamn, they're just boing, boing, boing. <laughs> oh my god, but God bless you, Epsilon. God bless you, Epsilon, for all the fan service. That's just phenomenal. Phenomenal. We need to add more slime. I wonder as the series continues, she just continues to get just like bigger and bigger and bigger. That would be the funniest shit. But hey, if you stick to all this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.